Hello fellow 7 Days to Die Gamers and welcome to episode 33 of this Let's Play series. I didn't think there would be episode 33 seeing that Alpha 10 was rumoured to be coming out last week but it didn't. So what am I to do? I, I continued playing this little bit of line and started enhancing it waiting for Alpha 10 thinking it was coming then I was on holidays for a couple of days and I'm just back now and logged in hoping Alpha 10 was out but it's not so I decided you know what I will just do another episode of this season because why not seeing that this base is actually coming along nicely so I might as well so as you can see here from last time when you looked at it I have done probably nothing nothing much more, more there down there but I have raided some of the nearby houses if taking a fridge with me just put a little of refreshments in a bit of food to keep it nice and cold um, just random chest not really organized at all because like I said I didn't think I would be getting much more out of this game uh, in this series so we have things cooking and look at this I've started to actually making a little bit of an enhancement here You remember the bridge that was all empty? Look at the nice pretty glass windows. Isn't that pretty? And a sofa so you can sit here, you can hang out here and chill out and look at the night sky. Then what do we have here? We have our little four, uh, front room. I'm gonna put a TV here so you can chill out here. I didn't actually bring a TV. Hmm, should have brought a TV. Now, this is my only in and out for the moment. Yeah, no, it's not very secure. Zombies could drop down here and so on, but why not? So if you look here, oh, whoops, not very good in going backwards. So, ah, yeah, let's just go here. So you can see I have the roof here, and here is the island, and Sometimes zombies drop here, but as you can see here, it is an island, so I can actually make it more secure and flatten it and build some nice little uh, rooms and an above ground, above base. Then oh, you can hear the zombies going on over there. I built a little ridge down there. And um, where are the zombies coming from? I can't really see them. Are they in the water? I think they might be in the water. Hello, where are you guys? No, I can't see them. I can hear them hitting things. I can't really see them. Oh, okay, there's one guy up there. But that's about it, I can't see any underwater. Hmm. No, this... What are they hitting? Where are they? Okay, they're probably destroying my... Uh, yeah, I started building a defense parameter, which I was going to continue in this episode. Here we are. Okay, I can hear them hitting something, but... Okay, bye-bye. Well, I can hear them hitting things. I just can't see them. Where are they? I mean, I can hear things even breaking. But I cannot see them. That is so freaky. They're breaking something. I mean, I, hopefully they're not breaking anything that I care about. Is, is Are they here on the other side somewhere? No, I can't see anybody here. But you know what? I think they're somewhere near my base, but I can't see them. I just cannot see them. They seem to be coming from over there, but hmm. Ah well, let's just ignore them. If you can't see them, then they're hopefully gonna despawn. They're just causing a little bit of lag at the moment, but that's about it, I think. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my param perimeter that I'm building up. So here we have um, again metal trussing. 
I figured out last time through the help of some comments uh, from very helpful YouTubers that metal trussing is actually much cheaper to make because it's eight pipes for three metal trussing, unlike eight pipes for one reba frame. But even though metal trussing may be a little bit more durable as a whole compared to reba frames, and okay, this is really annoying me that I can't see where these guys are coming from. But um, for aesthetic reasons, I like the look of upgraded metal trussing. So as you can see here, I'm building a perimeter, kind of for when they come from the land here, because as I showed you earlier, this is like kind of the lakes or whatever, and this is an island, and they can come from here. So, and for aesthetic reasons, I'm using Reba frame. So again, I'm using the first three Reba frame, the only thing, yeah, it's a pity metal, uh, I think somebody actually said you can put metal trussing and then put m metal sheets or something actually over it. I never actually tried that. Um, what is it? Sheet, was it? No, not sheet. Um, scrap iron wall? No. I forgot what it was. Was it a type of wall? No, it wasn't a wall. It was a sheet actually, but uh, was it a sheet? No. I just don't remember. There was metal strip. Metal strips is different. Yeah, metal trussing, and then somebody uh, and they say, oh, sliding. That's what it was. So what happens if I do sliding? Okay, let's take. Um, Let's take some scrap iron. Actually, let's try out what they were talking about because this is interesting now because I never tried that out. So, if for aesthetic reasons metal trussing works as well, then, well, I already crafted the Reba, but at least I know for future. So, let's try this out, okay? Um, I have some guys here. Take them with me. I hope you like my base. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I think so anyway. Nice and chillaxed. It's nothing better to find a chill room in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Okay, so if we take metal trussing and we take... Let's take some sliding. So one, two, three, four. Because I have no idea how this is going to work. Oh, it makes four sliding. Jeez, this is all really efficient if that all works out together. So... Now, if we... I have actually metal thrusting here. So does that mean I can put the sliding here? Or, no, the sliding will take up a whole... Yeah, this, the sliding will take up a whole cube, though. That is a bit of a pain. I don't like that. I mean, yeah, no, I can see where they're coming from. If you are here... Come on. Yeah, come on. There we go. Actually, yes, I can totally understand where they're coming from. And whoops, I walked off. A little, little. Why do I do that? Drown yourself. You're not worthy. So yeah, I can absolutely see this for um, decorate, like for looks. But it takes up an extra cube, an extra space, which I don't like. I, it's a pity they can't just make this metal trussing upgradable. Because this is, I mean. This is just annoying now. I have a ladder there, so I can't put one here. And if I put one here, I won't be able to put one here on that one, on that side. So it, it is a bit annoying that um, you can't, uh, whoops, that you can't um, put things on blocks that are not actually one block wide. I know it must be absolutely da uh, difficult for the guys to sort out in in the game, but come on, you can do it. You can do it. There's one more left. Ah, oh, come on. You're gonna walk over there. Go a little bit out. Are we able to place it there? No. No, I'm just gonna fall down instead. Ha ha ha. Okay. Yeah, no, it looks great. Okay, absolutely. It looks fantastic. But the problem is obviously things like this. You cannot. You can only place one here because it is the same as a cube. You can't place one there. And that's going to 
annoy me forever. So yes, while that person was absolutely right that metal trussing can be covered by sliding, I do not like the way it takes up an extra cube. And I really hope the fun camp pimps can change that somehow, that things like sliding just simply count as an upgrade to a block and don't take an extra space away, because that would be just really awesome. Okay, so let's continue on the perimeter defense. I have some cobblestone in my basement. I don't know if I have enough, but you know what? It will do for the moment. Here I will... Okay, I will probably go out to here because they can hit that one. And I can make that wood. That should be enough with wood. Actually, from up there I'm gonna continue using wood. Okay. There we go. Uh, whoops. I'm glad I can pick it back up. There we go. Oh, no. We want to have our... No, do we want murder holes? No, actually, I... Do I? No, I don't. But I will put something there that I can actually look through. Two, three, four, and let's put one, two... Actually, let's continue on the corner first. One, two, three, bam. There we go. Yeah, always the corners first. It's always better. So that way I can look through here and one, two, three, bam. Let's continue and go from the corner here. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three. We'll make this four and this one four. Yeah, we have one four. We will survive. Oh, oh, we won't survive. No more Reaper frame. No. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Reaper frame. I don't need that many. Oh, come on. Okay, now. So I'm intentionally not making an entrance if you actually, uh, you probably noticed that, that I didn't make an entrance. And that's because I'm using that um, special way of getting in and out with my, with, uh, with one of those octopus arms. Come on, we can do it. If we put one here, will, will we... Hmm, it's a bit floaty in the air there, isn't it? Um, we'll put another bit of rock underneath there. Oh, I don't have any stone on me. Ah, oh, balls. Um, no, but it seems, yeah, it should hold. It should hold. So, we leave one free. Um, yeah, we need to make five more and see. One, two, three, bum, and then one, two, three, bum. So let's put one. How about we make it four again? Yeah, exactly. There you go. And look at that, pretty as a picture. Now none of that is upgraded. This will hold temporarily. And let's upgrade some of that stuff. Now this is again uh, purely for, you could have made this earth, um, there's absolutely no reason to make this wood. I still haven't found a claw hammer or a recipe for a claw hammer, would you believe it? Anyway, and just to get back to Alpha 10, this is getting more and more exciting, like Joel is uh, um, one of the developers I think, and he has his blog down on Tumblr, and he keeps posting some nice little pictures, and one of them is uh, that they're playing around more with fire and shading, and um, like many other Let's Players have mentioned this already, they, uh, while it looks all sexy and really nice, with the shaders and with the flames and with the shadow effects, one of the things that we always notice playing this game is you have a lot of light effects, you get a lot of lag. So 
if you're gonna have burning zombies running around through the night, I'm pretty sure if you have a horde attacking you and you manage to set them all on fire, that you, if, unless they put in some performance boosts into the coat or wherever, you're probably gonna end up with an absolute minimal FPS unless you have a monster of a machine and this game does not require a monster to play. I mean, I have a very basic machine and can play it quite well on 60 FPS unless I'm recording. So, yeah, sure, I can't put everything up to max and, you know, double shadow quadruple reflection with eye popping, I don't know, mass particle effects, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But um, I still can get to enjoy the game. So that's why I like it so much because you don't need such a high end PC for it. But of course, you get an absolute amazing uh, look and feel from it when you have a machine that can actually crank all these values up and can deal with all these shaders and everything. Okay, I leave the rest for later when I'm offline. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, take this guy out. I'm gonna see. Oh, yeah, I have to get cobblestone. I'm going to have to get cobblestone to upgrade those walls. So this is going to be a great perimeter. Now what I'm going to do is on the outside though, and I actually can do this before I get the cobblestone. I am digging down as I do bef as I did before. And right here I'm placing my trunks. And my trunks will then get... Okay, where am I hitting here? I'm hitting everything left and right except what I want to hit. Oh no, hang on, no, 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 not this, this, I don't have to dig holes here. Not everywhere, this was actually perfectly elevated already. Oh, it's very confusing when you're trying to even out ground. So some stuff you have to dig holes and some stuff looks like you need to but you don't need to. So it can, it can get very confusing. Um, Okay, let's take away the grass. Um, oh yeah, I have a hole. Might as well use a hole. Yeah, it makes the whole thing a little bit quicker to deal with. Yeah, this hill I definitely have to uh, cut down to size. There we go, otherwise they're crawling right in there. Okay. I might put metal trussing actually here in the middle because I can shoot through it but I kind of want to pick it back up so I might actually put wood planks in there, I don't know, I really don't know what I'm going to put in there to be honest. I want to be able to pick it back up um, so maybe I'll make scrap, scrap iron frames actually instead because I can pick them up again as well and I can shoot through them as well. Metal trussing you can shoot through as well but you can't pick it up. So at least here I can um, pick pick it back up if um, I want to. Okay, now, so the way these, as usual, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's take these guys, and you can actually see it now. So I put them right in front, here, 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 and they should be on the same level as the bottom. There you go, I like that. Nice. Yes, so we have to dig probably these guys out. Actually, so we need some trees. I might as well get rid of this. It's always nice to clear out an area. Something very satisfying. I like that about Minecraft as well. When you get to an area where you can just mindlessly uh, start clearing the area and flatten it and do all the terraforming, and uh, it's just some, somehow really relaxing. Let's get some more trees for some more trunks. Hmm. 
Now, if Alpha 10 doesn't come out this weekend, I will do another one or two episodes. Um, like I said, I was on holidays uh, for about a week, so I couldn't really do much. Um, I will try to do another one or two episodes after this if the game is still not coming out this weekend. And we'll probably finish the perimeter defense mostly offline on this side, and then we'll start something on the other side that I'm going to show you then halfway through probably. So you can see what you can do. It's still interesting because it still shows you what you can do. And in Alpha 10 this is not going to change. You can still build all this crazy ass stuff there. They might have updated the physics a bit and it might be a bit trickier, but you can still do all that. I mean, there's nothing better than finding a cliff and going like, do you know what, I'm going to suspend my base right between these two cliff sites. And building up some frames and start some really nice construction. It's so satisfying when, in the end, it comes together and it's stable and it holds and you can let your imagination just run wild. It's just so satisfying. Okay, I think that should be enough for the moment. Let's... Yeah, three, twelve... Let's make another twelve. I think I need four or eight more, but we'll see. Hey! Now, first of all, we have to figure out where we have to cut down everything to size. Ah, don't run into it. Okay, this one has to be cut down. Okay, now... This one has to be cut down. This one has to be cut down. Hey, this one will fit. It's very tiny, isn't it, in a way? Okay, let's get rid of the grass. I'm not going to switch to my hole now. I will just use my shovel. Nice. See? Not as well. Oh, is it, how does that work? How would you go? Okay, never mind. I, I'm just not gonna worry about this one now. Okay, now that's correct. Nice. No, 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 no. And what do we have here? Yes, we definitely have one here. We have one here. That fits. That. Oh! That was a blooper. That one does not fit. So we wasted one. Ah well, these things happen. We're not perfect. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not what to do. How to collapse a structure by taking off the bottom of everything that's holding it. That's not good. So, let's get the shovel. Now this is the basic idea, and um, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, make some room, and I'm gonna dig a little bit out on the. Oh, okay, that was digging a hole for some reason. It's like you're aiming straight, but for some reason it goes like, no, I'm gonna actually hit the one in front of you instead, and. Um, dig a deeper hole. Yeah, because that's the way it works. So, it's gonna look nice when it's finished. Hopefully I can show you in the next episode. If not, then Alpha 10 will destroy the saves and we're gonna have to start again. But I'm gonna make it more like this that I won't... Well, maybe the first base I'm gonna make a proper base like I did in the beginning of this series. Um, I think, I don't know, a few episodes in I started doing that. Um, but in general I will try to explore more in the next uh, season. And build bases more like using nature as, as you would have to in reality. That you find prefabs, that you convert prefabs into um, something livable and survivable and instead of building all these pre-planned structures so we start winging a lot of things more you know because that's what you would probably do more in reality I, I would say okay so you get the basic idea of this I'm just gonna finish this little corner here nice so here we go that said, yeah, I'm gonna do that one offline, that hill there, and then obviously the basic idea is you're gonna um, 
upgrade this behind with cobblestone then upgrade all of these Oops, I don't even need to upgrade them actually to be honest um, I make probably two rows of those and then one ramp as I did before to lead the zombies to walk them right on top of it and yeah I mean look at this 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 is brilliant so well in my opinion anyway so let's just Geronimo yay oh no no <laughs> nearly killed myself okay Ah, spikes are fun because they don't really kill you, but they seem to have a detrimental effect on the zombies. Okay, so I'll forget my cobblestone, upgrade all this, and hopefully can show you what I can do here. This is going to be my little lookout for my outpost. I'm going to be having a, a high chair here somewhere, and it's going to be awesome. So hopefully I can get to show you this, and I don't think Alpha 10 is going to come this week because... The guys are still posting on the blog, you know, the updates, and they're saying they're nearing completion, but that doesn't mean they're going to post now. And personally, I prefer if they're not posting until they're really ready. So, get some cobblestone and get started with the upgrade outside. So, I will leave it like I will leave it like this. I will do some offline sorting out and get back to work up on the top um, to give you guys something to look at next time if we're there is the next time in the season but i hope you enjoyed this anyway even though this is more playing around and uh, testing th some things out seeing what bases you can build i hope you like my base that you like the way i've converted the bridge into something more user friendly whatever you want to call it more homey um, i might nick a fireplace or something uh, and a tv from the other end uh, to make this look better but um, until then i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think any ideas you have uh, leave a like please if you liked it it always helps me out uh, to expand my channel and always you are more, uh, more than welcome anybody giving me constructive criticism if they have any idea on what to do different and um, any plans on what to build instead maybe or what you would like to see. So until then, this is Games for Kicks and happy gaming!